went on a date tonight and I just don't understand why people insist on lying. Mm. Okay, so I just needed a moment uh, between that thought and uh, today. So I'm here, I'm gross and sweaty and just got back from the trainers, so uh, I'm obviously looking my finest. Yes, yes. Uh, anyway, shall we begin with this one? Let's go. Has this ever happened to you? Yes, it has. Oh. I can actually show you the copious amount of clothing I own that has stains on the front because apparently I don't know how to eat food, I just know how to put it in the direction of my mouth. But uh, I can't say it's happened to the extent of Spilly McMake sure the damn lid is on over here in this scene. We'll refer to him as Bobby. My next concern is coffee is hot. Whether you get a mocha, a latte, a tea, or you know, just your plain old cup of joe, uh, it's hot. It, uh, it's quite hot, so if you were to spill 70% of the uh, cup on you, um, you know, it wouldn't be a oh, it would be a ah, kind of a dance, because when your flesh is burning uh, under the heat of scalding hot temperatures of uh, coffee or milk, um, it's pretty damaging. Pretty damaging. Also, who drinks like that? Whoa, no, I spilt so I'll just let it keep falling out of my mouth. <laughs> I think my favorite part of this is the look that she just gives right there. I, she's walking, she sees something she likes, but then she's horribly offended by his drinking capabilities. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no. Mm -mm. Introducing the Slob Stopper. Forget messy spills and unplanned accidents. Just slip it on. So apparently she walks by every day and he sits in the car every day watching her every day. So, and she sees him so she gets that he's her stalker. So I guess I, I, guess I understand her being offended uh, in the previous clip because that means that because he spilt on himself his attention was drawn away from her and on to the fact that he was burning his penis with coffee and stomach, whatever else. I don't know, it just went right down, so I just assumed. Anyway, whatever. I, yeah, I get it. And enjoy your busy lifestyle. Perfect for your commute and everyday use. Okay, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby, we, we need, need to, to talk. talk. Um, I understand that you just learned how to drink like a grown-up. Graduating from the sippy cup is so hard, I get it. I get it, I get it. But, but um, learn to keep the cup or the or the drink to your lips until you are back down into a vertical position. Removing it while it's even at the slightest horizontal incline is a, a, a not a smart move. If you don't have the bib, even if you do have the bib, just don't do it. Perfect for your commute. I love that although he has yet again spilt, he gives himself the approving nod. Everyone, everyone got the bib. I'm okay. And everyday use. I think I love even more the fact that she gives him the approving smile and that he's wearing a bib. You sure do pick them there, sugar. Made with polyurethane laminate fabric. Uh, it looks like one of two things. Uh, it looks like the drape they put over you before you get a haircut, or uh, the drape they put over you uh, before, you know, a dentist drills a hole in your tooth. So one could be pleasant, and, and one could not be pleasant. The slob stopper absorbs on one side and is waterproof on the other. Waterproof? <laughs> you guys, this, this is revolutionary. I mean, we, I, I'm going to wear it everywhere. First of all, I'm going to order it because it's only $14.95. I mean, hello, who can't afford that? Um, and then I'm going to wear it to work and um, to the gym and uh, outside um, and, 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 and in the car, of course. Um, but I'm going to wear it like a cape. With two layers for double protection. That's what she said. Don't worry about covering up stains anymore. Go to. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Hmm. What? What is that look? I. I mean, I, I assume that the girl that you're giving the look uh, 
to, about, um, is not your daughter because most parents don't judge their children like that behind their backs. Uh, and even if she's not your daughter, what, what is, what is, what is causing that kind of distaste? Ooh, oh, Becky, she, I mean, I know she's only 13 and playing soccer, but she really let herself go. She should put a little more effort into the way she looks. The boys are starting to pay attention now, so... And secondly, who are you? Who are you to give a judgmental look like that when you're about to put on an adult bib? Just, just saying, just playing devil's advocate. Oh my God, I totally wish I had a bib right now driving around, you know. I just can't drink with free hands like I used to. Just gonna put that one out there. Just gonna put it there. Take it and go. Take it and go. Take it and go. It's Russell Peters. I'm not offending anybody. I like Brian. Slobstopper.com and order today. Slobstopper. Bibs aren't just for babies. Uh, not the strongest advertising line. Advertising angle by saying something that is already looking like it's for babies isn't just for babies anymore. I mean, it, it would be like if uh, somebody made an adult diaper and uh, specifically for crapping in and uh, advertising was diapers because pooping your pants isn't just for babies anymore. So I give this video three mixed spelly pants watch what the hell you're doings. good. Didn't get it in the mouth that time. That's what she said. Out of 17,000. Because when you divide three by 17,000, it's a really low mark. And I believe that the entire concept of this commercial should be brought towards that. So, I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm way too tired to finish this. That's it.